गणेश लॉर्ड गणेश इज द ओल्ड सन ऑफ लॉर्ड शिव एंड गॉड एस पार्वती पीपल वर्शिप हिम एज द लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑस्पिशियस बिगिनिंग्स बिकॉज ही इज बिलीव टू रिमूव ऑब्स्टिकल्स एंड ब्रिंग गुड लक एंड हैप्पीनेस गणेश हैज द हेड ऑफ एन एलिफेंट विथ अ ट्रंक वन टस्क बिग एलिफेंट इयर्स एंड स्मॉल एलिफेंट आईज ही हैज अ ह्यूज पॉट बेली विथ अ स्नेक अराउंड इट एंड ही राइड्स ऑन अ लिटल रैट वाई डज गणेश लुक लाइक दिस That is a long story. One day, Parvati was going for a bath. She told Nandi, her attendant, "Stand guard outside my door, and do not let anyone inside till I have finished." As Parvati sat down to oil herself and applied turmeric and sandalwood paste. she heard footsteps before she could do anything her husband shiva walked in parvati turned red with shame she became angry with nandi for disobeying her orders and letting shiva in she told shiva that she had ordered nandi to guard her door and not permit anyone to enter when he heard this shiva burst out laughing and said oh but how can he stop me i'm his master parvati decided that she would create someone who would obey only her and none else a son all her own the next day during her bath she scraped off the oil and sandal and turmeric pastes that she had rubbed on her body and put them together parvati then shaped it into a handsome little boy and breathed life into him she called him her son gave him a stick and told him to stand guard outside her door till she finished her bath the obedient boy stood at the door with a stick in hand in a little while shiva walked in but he was stopped by the boy who boldly said no one may enter until my mother finishes her bath shiva was taken aback to hear this and asked the boy who his mother was the boy replied parvati Shiva burst out laughing and said, "I am her husband and the master of this house. I don't need permission to enter my wife's room." The boy, however, committed to his mother's orders, refused to budge in spite of Shiva's explanations. This made Shiva extremely angry, and he finally ordered Nandi to catch the annoying child and chain him nandi charged towards the boy but in vain before he knew it the boy had knocked him down with his stick nandi tried several times over but with no success this enraged shiva all the more he ordered his ganas to fight the boy the ganas charged after the boy but he bravely fought them all word about the battle spread by now all the gods gathered to watch the proceedings seeing things get out of hand lord brahma offered to try and calm the boy but when brahma tried to approach the boy he too was chased away with the stick when he saw this shiva lost his control he rushed towards the boy with his trident 
But the boy knocked the Lord of the Universe off his feet. The gods were shocked to see this and stood around gasping in disbelief. Lord Vishnu, who was present there, said, The boy has great strength. We will not be able to defeat him unless we trick him. Parvati came out of her baths to find her son dead. She was enraged at this and her anger filled the whole universe. The skies began to tremble, the oceans began to boil, mountains crumbled to dust, strong winds began to blow, and the whole world was enveloped in darkness. The gods were very frightened and begged Shiva to do something to calm Parvati. Shiva begged, O oh Parvati, mother of the universe, all beings are your children. Calm down or your anger will destroy them. I promise to bring your son back to life. On hearing Shiva's promise, Parvati grew calm. She, however, insisted, Not only should my son be brought back to life, but he should also be made the leader of your Ganas. He should be the first god to be worshipped always. Shiva agreed on her demands. He ordered Nandi, Go out and bring back the head of the first living creature who has its head facing the north. Nandi set out and found an elephant sleeping with its head towards the north. He chopped off the head and brought it to Shiva. Shiva put the elephant head onto the boy's body and soon the boy came to life. He was called Ganesha or Lord of the Ganas. The gods sang his praises and his parents blessed him. Ganesha is also called Vigneshvara or the remover of obstacles. Praying to him in the beginning of an important mission clears our path of obstacles and brings luck. <laughs>